and this is being recorded. So if you have colleagues that maybe couldn't join you today but are interested in this information, um, we will be able to send out the link. We're going to post it in Friday's newsletter as well. So I think we'll go ahead and get started. We have a good amount of people on the call. OK, so as mentioned, um, the session today is really um, navigating the basics of the program. So um, as you know, we have a style crew platform. Um, so really want to use the time on this call to really make sure that everybody feels really comfortable with how to upload. Um, we also are going to have a live tutorial. Um, so if you've never used the style crew platform before, or maybe you're, you know, still a little shaky with how to do it, we're going to do a live session today. Adrian's going to leave that up. Um, we're going to talk about the incentive payout um, and how that changed. So for those of you who've joined um, back in 2019, the program went through a round of changes, um, particularly to the incentive. Um, so we want to make sure that everybody understands how the payout and the incentive works for the program since we relaunched in September of 2020. Um, we're going to go through some of the program stats and the do's and don'ts, um, some of like the legal um, requirements for the program and then we're going to end with some questions. Okay, so one of the things that we get all the time is um, sort of walking you through the process for once you get accepted into the style crew program. So for those of you who have filled out the link or thinking about joining um, after you fill out the link, um, it'll tell you that your application is under review. Um, all of our colleagues that are paid by Macy's Paycheck um, and in, are in good standing with the company get accepted into the program. We accept applications once a week. We have to verify employment and HR standing, so it takes a few days for um, our colleagues to get into the program. But once you get into the program, you will receive a welcome email that comes from the inbox Macy's Style Crew at Macy's.com. So if you've recently joined and you have not received this email, um, some of our ambassadors have told us that it's landed in their junk email. Um, so definitely check there or email us at Macy's Style Crew at Macy's.com. You're going to want to get this initial welcome email because it really gives you the step by step. Um, it walks you through how to get started with the platform. The other really important thing um, that is in this email is the ambassador guidelines. So if you are part of the program in 2019, um, you're really going to want to look at these guidelines because um, parts of the program have changed from when we initially launched the program. So in that email, there is an attachment that has the 2020 ambassador guidelines. If you um, haven't ever received this documentation and you've been in the program for a while, just email us at Macy Style Crew and we can send this over to you. So one thing that I just kind of want to talk through is once you're getting started with the Macy's Style Crew plat platform. So again, this is different than when you post on Instagram or you're posting on any of your other social channels. This is the technology that allows us to track for the incentive. Um, so you want to make sure that you're posting all of your content first on the Macy's Style Crew portal and then you're sharing it out to whatever social channels that you want. Um, so there's really two ways to log into our tech technology. There is the portal and then there is a new app called Storefront by Macy or Storefront by TV Page. Both of the app, both the app and the web portal operate the same way. And in in a few in a few minutes, um, Adrian's going to do a live presentation on how that looks. But basically, you're going to log into your account with the email that you signed up for the program with, um, and you're going to put your password in. Everybody who's in the program has one account. So you're only allotted one email address. So you're going to want to make sure that you're putting in the right email address for your Macy Style Crew account. Once you log in, you're going to click up to the upper left. There's like a three bar menu. Yep, Angela is pointing over it. You're going to click on that and it's going to give you a menu of, of options. So it's going to allow you to upload content, photo or video. It's going to allow you to look at your performance or your analytics to see how your posts are trending as far as clicks and views and sales. Um, there's also a tab that is account. That is your ambassador 
um, profile, so to speak, or bio. Um, it looks like the picture here over here on the right. And basically this has all of your information that can be edited. Um, we encourage our ambassadors to go in here and update if you move to a different store, if you get a new um, employee ID, um, maybe you switched Instagram handles and you want us to know that. Um, this is access to each colleague has access to their own profile and we strongly encourage you to go in there and update regularly. Another question that we get a lot of times is, how do I find my channel link? Um, so if you're in that three bar menu and you click down under your name, there's there's a little like message here that says storefront link. If you click on that, it'll copy it and then you can paste that into an email. You can put it into your Instagram bio. Um, you can email it out or text it to your client list. So that's how you find your channel link. That's also really important for signing up for seatings or products. We're going to ask you that question time and time again. What is your ambassador channel link? So it's good to get familiar with where to find that if you're not sure where that is. Um, the other thing I just want to call out on this slide is that a lot of the trainings um, and information we have available on YouTube. So we're going to place these two URLs in the chat so that you can click into them. The YouTube offers training on how to find your channel link, how to upload a video. Um, we're also going to save down this recording so that if you need to access it at a later point that you have that available. So moving on to the next slide. So the technology piece for Style Crew um, is pretty is pretty basic. I always tell ambassadors if you can upload a picture to Instagram or Facebook, you can totally use the Style Crew portal. It's very, very easy. It's very intuitive. Adrian's going to show you guys in one second how that looks. But basically, you take a photo or a video of products that you want to highlight that are available on Macy's.com. You upload that photo or video to the Style Crew portal or app. You tag the product that creates an embeddable shoppable link, and then you can share your posts out to various social media channels using hashtag Macy's Style Crew and hashtag I work at Macy's. So then we'll move on. Um, so this was really exciting in 2019. The number one request for Style Crew was that we create the technology in app form. Um, when we came back from furlough in September of 2020, we were able to launch our storefront app, which is really great because it is the exact same way of working on the portal, but it's now in app form. So for folks who don't want to necessarily navigate away from their mobile device, they can now do all of their style crew work on, on a mobile phone. So it works with Androids, iOS. You upload the photo and the content the same way. You can share directly out to social media. And then um, you just have to make sure that you're putting in the relevant copy and the hashtags for whatever channel that you're doing. So we're going to pause here. I'm going to let Adrienne take over and drive the screen. Um, she's going to do a live tutorial to show you guys what it looks like to upload. Hi, guys. So nice to see so many familiar faces, some new faces. Um, I will be uploading a photo so I can walk you guys through this. Um, this is where we sign in on. This is the web section and this is not the storefront app, but as Nora mentioned, we do have the app and if mimics very much what I'm going to do today. And if you want to learn on um, the app wise, we have it at Style Crew Central on Instagram step by step as well. So I go into sign in. Um, I sign in with my account. <clears throat> There's a top left hamburger button right here. I want to upload a photo today, so I click the little addition sign. Today I'm uploading a Dior men's cologne. Then you can put a little uh, description that you want to uh, send to your audience, your followers, your clients. Best fragrance for. And then there's a bunch of categories that you can select from. This one I'll click men. You go to the top right after filling all this out, you click next. Um, so from here, you can either add in a web ID or you can click the 
the web ID you obviously find on the Macy's.com site right here, or you can type it in. So I'm going to type it in today because I want to see what's available that I can add. So there is the toilet spray, there's sets that I want to add. And I would recommend posting four to five um, different types of product so you can see how it looks like um, once it's all finished right there. So it will be processing and then once it's complete you click done. And it's as simple as that and so once it's green it will be in publish mode and from here you can share it to any of your social media links. There's Snapchat, WhatsApp, Pinterest. You can also copy the link here. And from there you can e email it, DM it, text it, uh, put that link in your bio on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, and there's also um, option to edit your photo. So let's say I wanted to crop this. Maybe I just wanted to show the perfume and not so much the hands. I can do that. Just one quick call out. Um, there are more capabilities um, when working off of the portal. So Adrian's obviously doing this on a desktop. Some of the same features are not available in in an app form. So I don't believe you can edit within your post on the app. So just know that if you want more capabilities and more flexibility, um, it's best to edit photos or create your content on the desktop version. If your photos are kind of ready to go or your content's ready to go, the, the app is probably the quickest way to post, but know that there is a difference um, and there's more offerings on this desktop version through the portal. Yep, and so from there you wanna click save and now it's published. So when you go to style crew, Macy's.com backslash style crew, you'll see that it will be the most recent post because it's in chronological order. So you can see mine right here. And of can, there's different categories that you guys can post to. And that's how you upload to the portal. Let me stop sharing the screen and go back to the presentation. OK, so the next slide is on the incentive. As Nora mentioned, um, we moved into marketing. The program underwent some changes, and this is one of the biggest ones. Um, the payout is determined by unique views and sales. So it's based on a tiered system. If you make sales from zero dollars to 500, your unique views, um, the payment is by 10 cents a unique view. There's a 20 cent unique view payout and a 30 cent unique view payout. So these are real life examples from our ambassadors that have received a payout. So I want to walk through this with you guys. Um, let's say you make no sales in the month of March, but you brought in 145 unique views. You will fall in the 10 cents tier. So then you would multiply the 145 unique views times the 10 cents and you would get $14 and 50 cents in your um, Macy's paycheck. If you made sales between the 500 and a thousand um, thousand dollar tier, you will and let's say you brought in 835 views, you then get bumped up to the 20 cent tier and you would get paid out $167. Let's say you made over a thousand dollars in sales, you brought in over a thousand unique views, which is the perfect formula for this program to uh, make more money. It's you get bumped to the 30 cent tier and you get paid three hundred and ten dollars and fifty cents. So with every month, the minimum payout uh, has to reach at least five dollars. Um, if it's less than that, you will not um, receive it in your paycheck. But we found that the most engagement that you send out your links, you put your links in bio, you talk about it, let your uh, followers and audience go into your link in bio and click into it. Um, we found that that's a better viewer rate than just posting it and not um, having your audience click through it. Um, the I'm just going to pause you for one quick second. Um, yeah. I just want to make sure that it's known because there's questions in the chat. 
Um, this payout incentive is on the portal performance. So remember when I told you guys earlier in the presentation, it's very, very important that whatever you're doing on social media that you're posting on the Style Crew portal, we do not pay out on views on social media. We don't have a way to monitor that. So the performance of the Style Crew platform is really what's driving the, the incentive. So I just want to re Re, I just want to reword that again. We do not pay out for performance on Instagram or any other social media platform. This is on the Style Crew technology, the uploading experience that Adrian just showed you. Um, that is what we have capabilities of tracking. Um, and each ambassador also has views into their own analytics as well. So you can see how you are trending also. So again, this is not going to track your social media performance. Yes, thanks, Nora. Mm -hmm. And then there's uh, more detail on the incentive, like what is a unique view? It gets reset every fiscal month, and then the payout is every following month of the fiscal month that just closed. So some really exciting news. We've reached our 3,000 ambassador mark this month. Um, we were really excited because this was our number pre, uh, before um, COVID hit So we and furlough happened. So we were really excited to get back to this air, this number and huge congratulations to the Northwest uh, region. You're almost at a thousand ambassadors just within that region. Uh, the highest uh, ambassador counts per state are listed here, California, New York, Florida, Pennsylvania, Texas, and Illinois. So awesome job, you guys. Um, this will be posted on the Instagram at Style Crew, at Style Crew Central. So just keep a look out for that and huge congratulations on all the recruiting efforts that happened this month. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to spend a little bit of time um, going through a couple of slides that are really, really important on the program as it relates to um, posting and the type of content. I know that was a big question that has come up is like questions around what you can and cannot post. Um, there's also in that um, new revised guidelines that we updated in 2020. Um, there are some rules and regulations rules and regulations that have been um, changed recently through our legal team. So Adrian and I don't make up the rules for this program. We're not smart enough um, to be able to know all the uh, legal things. But we have a really awesome legal uh, legal team that um, is constantly looking at social media and calling out the do's and don'ts for the program because again, um, everybody is posting their own individual content, but we're all posting for Macy's and we are a large corporation and therefore we have um, certain guidelines that we have to adhere to um, as creating content on behalf of a major retailer. So um, again, a lot of this information is not going to pertain to you as an individual when you're posting a post for your family and friends. But if you're posting on behalf of Macy's or for Macy's style crew, we have to adhere to these specific guidelines. Um, this is just a summary. Again, if you want to see all of the do's and don'ts, um, that document with the handbook is really the place to go. You can always email us at Macy's style crew at Macy's.com if you have questions beyond what we covered here today. Um, but as far as um, you know what to post and what not to post. So the most important thing is that we are not calling out promotional prices, dollar amounts, sales percentages, and any Macy's related posts. So this here is an example of content that we would not want to see in a Macy's code post. So for example, we've got this Adidas, somebody's calling out, and these are not style crew examples. These are just examples that I pulled, you know, just in general, but um, we don't want to see like, it's a special for this Tuesday and this Adidas pair of shoes is only $15. Um, again, because after the sale is done, these shoes are not necessarily going to be $15 and your content is going to live beyond the sale. So we don't want to put any dollar mentions because our prices at Macy's change daily. Um, the same here, somebody had posted like a picture of the last act and what the original price looks like and what the price is now. Um, so we're not going to want to show anything like that. 
This picture of the coach one I added in because I thought it was really great from a content perspective, like the photo itself is great. Um, but where where we get into the no would be if you are reading the comment, we're talking about cheap wristlets for only $33.85. If they would have just said something like amazing deals at coach, come in and shop with me today, that would have been a perfectly fine post. But anytime you're you're calling out web creative with pricing or you've got pricing tickets in your content or you're talking about a certain sales percentage um, it's going to get dropped from the macy's style crew portal um, we do have a team that is deleting um, any posts that are in violation um, so just be on the lookout that if you have a post that is deleted, um, it may be for one of the reasons that I'm going through and explaining to you today. Um, but per our legal team, we cannot call out pricing or promotions. Um, so what we can do instead, if we go to the next slide, is kind of exactly what I was talking about is, you know, we want to speak to sale and pricing and promotion in a very generic way. We can definitely talk about friends and family is happening now. We can use generic terms when referring to pricing, like there's an incredible you know, sale going on right now, great, great prices, tremendous savings. Um, the other really important thing is that you're gonna wanna use your own authentic content. So we don't wanna see like 25% off friends and family from, from the Macy's website. Instead, take a picture of the product that you want your audience to know about. Maybe it's these amazing puffer scarves and you can talk about how they're on promo and click into the link in your bio to find out the price. So that's one one way to speak about products um, that are on promotion um, or have a special price. Um, the other thing that I know has gotten a lot of questions around and um, we just kind of wanted to gang everything up together. So the use of music. So Music is actually something, even if it's royalty free, that's a little bit tricky. So when you're posting on like TikTok or Instagram, you have a library of music that you can choose from because you're creating posts on behalf of you as an individual. Um, but when you take that same post and you upload it to the Style Crew platform so that you can get track, you know, so that we can track your performance, we have to remove the music when it goes up on our platform. Um, because we don't actually have the rights as Macy's, even though it might be royalty free. Um, there are still big penalties for Macy's as a corporation when we're using that content. So again, it's fine if you do your own personal posts um, and you want to, you know, incorporate music. But the second that you're doing it for the Style Crew program and you're uploading it through the portal, um, it's not something that we can do. So we've started to have to take down those that upload with music. Um, there is a quick way if you're uploading content on the portal, you can upload your content with no sound. So that's what a lot of people have done um, is just um, you know not had sound. Um, the other thing that we've noticed a rise in, which we think is awesome, and if you're comfortable with this, we strongly encourage you is voiceover. Um, we've had a lot of people create some really amazing content videos um, where they're talking through a trend or a product. Um, we strongly encourage that. And then last but not least, um, for this program, or sorry, one slide back. Oh, yeah, for, for the rights and permissions is just not to shoot recognizable brands um, or brands that are not opt-in for social. So um, you don't wanna be shooting brands that are not sold at Macy's, um, but even if you're using them as like a prop, so like maybe you have an amazing Prada bag and you really wanna talk about, you know, a new lipstick and you're holding up a Prada bag, um, that's not something that we can be doing because we don't sell that bag at Macy's. Um, and then the other thing is, is just, um, we have to be really, really careful. There are brands um, in the luxury space that um, do not opt in for social uh, coverage. Um, like some brands that come to mind are Chanel and Louis Vuitton. So we wanna make sure that even though we sell them, um, we cannot tag them um, because they're not brands that uh, are participating in social promotion with Macy's. 
OK, so then moving on to our next slide. I just want to address this because this is like um, exploding in the chats is PDP. Okay. So PDP with pricing, we don't want to get, get posted, but PDP is like just pictures of a Michael, like a Michael Kors shoe or like a loafer or a shirt. Yes, you can use that. There's P there's ambassadors that create like video reels with different pictures of PDP because obviously some people don't have access to all the product, so you can use PDP pictures. Um, it's just just not with you can't post it with the pricing. Yeah, and I think that might have also been another question with the pricing on the the, the gift with purchases. Um, so we can't speak to the to the pricing factor. You can just talk about how there's a great gift with purchase. You know, you can have them, you know, side email you, reach out to you, call you, but you can't put it in posts because that GWP is going to go away eventually and it's not going to be accurate. So again, one thing to just kind of keep in mind is like, think of it this way, you're putting content out there in the world that can live forever. So anything that you say at, at, at any given time um, needs to be true all the time. So I can't talk about a Black Friday amazing deal because in January or March, that deal is not going to be around anymore. Same with the same with the GWP. So we want to avoid um, saying that. Um, OK, so moving on to program disclosures. Um, so I know this came up earlier. Um, what are the hashtags to be using for the program? So the two hashtags to use together um, are hashtag Macy's style crew and hashtag I work at Macy's. These two hashtags together signifies that you are an employee ambassador. So whenever you're in your social posts, um, as you can see, this example that I that I posted recently talks about, you know, the the two hashtags down at the bottom are the hashtag Macy style crew hashtag I may work at Macy's and then any other hashtags that you want to put in. Maybe you want to put in Macy's love or Macy's um, ambassador or whatever you want to put in that makes sense. Um, but those two hashtags should be in all of your posts together. Um, you're also going to want to if you're doing content on behalf of a brand for a campaign. I know we've had a lot of these in the past couple of months with the Dior's and the BAM and all of the holiday gifting content creator campaigns. Um, you always want to disclose that you've been gifted or a free product. You've always been gifted um, a free product. So you don't want to make it seem like you didn't get something um, in exchange for creating the post. And how you do that is by putting hashtag ad at the beginning of the post. So again, in this example with the BAM um, product, I went ahead and did hashtag ad at the beginning so that it's very clear that I received this product as a gift and that I'm giving my feedback on it. The other thing that you may have noticed, it popped up a few months ago with Instagram is there's a new feature called paid partnership. Um, and we just actually got new information from Instagram. Um, so this example here is just one from from Topshop. But if you look underneath the ambassador or if you look underneath this Instagram user's name, it says paid permission with Topshop. So let's say that we were gifted a Dior lipstick. Um, when you're creating a post on Instagram, Instagram is saying that um, that is another way to disclose that you've received a free gifted product. So they strongly encourage everybody who's receiving gifted items to use that paid partnership feature. Um, it'll just, it's something that you click on and then it'll, it'll, um, it'll uh, allow you to select the brand. And it looks like somebody has been trying to use it and it takes a while. Again, all of that stuff is kind of dictated by, by Instagram. So I think it also has to do with like the flow of how many paid partnerships they're probably having to review. Um, but it is best practice when using Instagram to put that feature down. Okay, and then, so now we're gonna get into, so we're gonna, now spend a little bit of time. Adrian and I really pulled out some questions that we thought were really helpful. We did notice a lot of the same questions. Some of them hopefully were answered within the body of this presentation, um, but we did pull out some that we thought were worth highlighting. Um, so I'm going to present Adrian's top picks and then she's going to present our, mine and then we're going to kind of open it up to any questions. I, I know there's been a lot on chat and sorry, it's hard to navigate chat and <laughs> lead a presentation. So um, hopefully 
you'll get some of your questions answered. And if not, we'll we'll open it up and answer as many as we can live. So these are Adrian's top picks. So Adrian, question one, how do you know, how do we know if our posts are working? Is there a way to know how many clicks, et cetera? Um, sure, so this uh, is twofold. Oh, there's a little feedback um, there. I don't know how to stop that feedback, but there is two different types. You can look at your analytics. One is on your Instagram. If you have a business profile, um, you can look through every post. You can look at metrics like male to female, um, likes, uh, saved engagement rate, um, and things like that, which is really nice. Um, a, a majority of our ambassadors have it. It's like a business profile that you have to set on your Facebook, I believe, and then it goes to your Instagram. And then in the portal aspect where I uploaded um, a picture, you can go to the analytics section and it tells you by um, a time frame metric. You could put the last seven days, yesterday, last month, this whole year, how many sales you made, how many clicks you got, how many views you got, how many sales you made on a video, how many sales you made on a photo. There's product link clicks, product link sales. So let's say you don't want to post a photo or a video, you can send a product link. Let's say if a client of yours says, hey, can you send me the link to the INC Blazer, the newest one that came out, you can uh, pr find the product link and either email it to them, text it to them um, that way, and you can also get analytics that way as well. So um, lots of ways to find um, if your links are, if your posts are working and um, just by the looking at the, your Adam analytics. Awesome. Okay, so question two, can our lease partners, FL, MAC, SGH, um, be part of Style Crew? Um, so the answer is if you are paid by a Macy's paycheck, then yes, you can definitely be part of the Style Crew program because the way you get paid out for contests, your incentives, um, it goes through directly to your paycheck and we have a um, uh, incentive line on your paycheck. It says marketing incentive and then it says style crew. So you can see how much you made that month. You can see um, your contest winnings go in there as well. So that's the only way right now that we can pay ambassadors through a Macy's paycheck. So if you, you are getting paid by Macy's paycheck, then you can definitely be an ambassador. Great. All right, last question. Sometimes I have trouble scanning a SKU or posting in the storefront app. Is there a workaround? Um, yes, yeah. so as I showed you guys earlier, you can do it by web ID. You can type it out as well, but let's say the item is brand new to the site. It does take at least 24 hours to uh, the feed to go to the TV page platform, so then they can link it up and it's in there and you can web search it and things like that. So. Um, just give it a, a day or two if it's a brand new item, mm -hmm. but if you don't see it, um, email us at Macy's stock or at Macy's.com so we can talk to our tech team on why it's not showing up, but um, we haven't had that many issues, but on the storefront app, I believe you can also scan the the um, UPC as well, so that's another way to do it. Cool. Oh, let me click. All right, let me ask Nora her top picks. Um, Nora, how often should we be posting to remain part of the program and eligible for opportunities? Yeah, so this question does come up from time to time. Um, one thing to note with Style Crew is that we are an extracurricular activity is what I like to call us, um, but we are a, we are an optional program. So obviously, your everybody that's in the program has a full time job at Macy's in some capacity. So obviously that job is most important. You know, style crew um, can definitely be integrated into your job, um, but we don't ever put requirements. You know, I don't tell Adrian, Adrian, you got to do five posts this this month because everybody's different as far as um, what their motivations, what their reasons are for being in the program. And, you know, depending on how your content trends, you know, you might be happy with the performance that you're doing and the incentive that you're getting for your participation. Um, you know, as far as program eligibilities and different opportunities, you know, I will say that there are different, you know, natural touch points throughout the month to kind of gauge yourself. So we always have some sort of a contest going on 
that you can win a cash prize. Um, so that that might be one of your reasons or motivations for wanting to post in any given month. We also have vendor vendor partnerships, which I know quite a few of you have already taken advantage of, which is awesome. These are the, the gifted product campaigns. The one that comes to mind most recently was the Dior campaign, which was wildly successful. Um, anytime that you sign up for the, those campaigns, there is a requirement that you create content. So right there in, in any given month, you know, you're kind of required to, if you sign up for these pro for these uh, seated opportunities, that you're gonna want to have that you're gonna have to create a post for that. And then there's also just key moments, um, you know, Macy's, Valentine's Day, we've got Mother's Day coming up, Father's Day, back to school, gifting, you know, these natural um, places that make sense to create content for, as well as new, new seasonal fashion trends. So obviously we're right at the beginning of fall, or not fall fashion, <laughs> goodness, um, spring, spring fashion. So again, I think really just leveraging our Friday newsletters um, to really dictate how you want to participate um, in, in the program. And I think as you get comfortable posting, you'll kind of get into a rhythm for what makes sense for you. And what makes sense for you might not be the same. Like Adrian and I have very different posting schedules and neither one of us is right or wrong. Um, you, you know, some people just gravitate towards certain things and that's totally fine. All righty. Uh, next question. How do you keep up with the trends? Yes. There is like so many trends all the time. Um, we are really lucky because we work very closely with the fashion office. Um, and as a as a company, we're, at, we're very, very lucky that we have a fashion office. Um, so I think that that is a quick, easy way to be able to stay on top of things um, and talk about whatever's relevant is, you know, really lean into our fashion office for that level of support. They're doing the digging to find the trends. Um, so one of the things is there's the uh, there's the edit feature um, on the website, which we've definitely leveraged that in the past. Um, but also something that I just wanted to call out, and you'll see in our upcoming newsletter, um, there is the Fashion Office Friday Finds. Um, that is a newsletter that's put out by the Fashion Office every single Friday. So it's separate from from our Style Crew newsletter, but you can sign up to be a part of that publication um, and then that way you can stay up to date week on week over week on everything that the fashion office is talking about so i strongly encourage you to sign up for that be on the lookout um, like i said we'll be putting it in one of our upcoming newsletters to be able to sign up but that's a great way to keep up with all of the great trends cool and last question what are the guidelines of shooting outside your store with store product is there a form to fill out or a procedure this is another really, really great question, question and that comes up from time to time. So um, this is not a new rule. Um, it actually has been around since Style Crew started, but Style Crew activity needs to be completed during working hours. So we do want to make sure that you're getting paid and you get credit for the things that you're working on. So we don't ever want our ambassadors to be working on Style Crew stuff when they're not working on the clock um, because we don't have a separate payout that we're able to, you know, dish out extra funds for people who are doing amazing work with with the program. Um, so you're going to want to make sure that all your style crew activity is happening during your working hours and that you're clocked in with the timekeeping policy. Um, if for some reason, let's say you have a great idea, you want to do your own shoot or you need an extra time off of the clock, um, it is allowed. But that is an arrangement that has to be made specifically with your people leader um, to work outside of your normal working hours or if you want to add on overtime um, that is something that would have to be approved and your hours would have to be clocked in um, so you're going to have to work directly with your people leader for that um, to see if that is something that is available to you um, and then the second part of the question had to do with shooting product outside of the store um, so if you're doing a quick shoot, like let's say you're doing a fitting room try on haul because a new amazing collection came out and you want to do a quick video with all of the amazing outfits. If you're in the store, you don't have to purchase the outfits. You can put them on, you know, obviously assuming that you're okay to be doing this and all your other stuff is, you know, done for the day or you have some, some free time, but you can do a fitting room haul with the product with the tags on you're going to keep it on and you're just going to do a quick 
fitting room hall. If you're taking the product out, let's say you want to go across the street to a park um, and you want to work on content. If it's leaving the store, it has to be purchased. Um, it can't leave the store unless it's unless it's purchased. You can return the product if you were just borrowing it to shoot at an outdoor location, um, but that would just, you know, it'd have to pertain to the Macy's return policy. So again, you'd have to like look at the specific item, make sure that you're not checking out something that can't be returned. You're gonna wanna keep the tags on, make sure it's in sellable condition, all of that stuff. Um, but you can't take product out that hasn't been purchased. Um, so yeah, so with that, it looks like we have about 15 minutes left. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Uh, I see there's a lot of questions about the fashion office find. Um, so I will get the information for us on how to sign up for that. Um, and we will put that in one of our upcoming newsletters just to make sure that everybody who wants to be a part of that publication can be. Um, okay, so with that being said, if there's questions that maybe we didn't cover. Um, if I you didn't can... see one, Nora, that I can answer. It was about the incentive. Um, it was about if someone just made sales, do you get paid out? And that is, um, so if you just make sales for that month with zero unique views and that's it, you won't get paid out because we are not strictly commissions based anymore. We moved into marketing a year and a half ago, I believe. And so with marketing, you want to bring eyeballs to the to the content. You want to bring um, impressions to Macy's.com. And a lot of the times when we were commissions based, there was ambassadors making amazing content month over month over month and just like not not gaining a sale. So we wanted to be fair. And like I mentioned before, the perfect marriage to get paid out um, incentive is having a sales, having a sale that month and also getting unique views. So that's why we encourage saying people shop my link in bio, click my link in bio, shop through my link in bio. So it's, we, it's not just sales based anymore. We are unique views and also sales. So now let's say you make amazing content month over month and you get those views and you don't make a sale, you'll still get paid out. So um, that's to answer that question. Another question was about the logos, Nora. Um, Nora does send the logos, um, I believe once a month in the newsletter as an attachment, but we are working with our production team uh, to have a video on where to place the logo. So um, yeah. it's a Macy's um, style crew policy to put it on the bottom right of a photo. Um, that's where all of the logo placement should be, but Nora sends the logos, I believe, once a month as an attachment. Yeah, I haven't done it recently just because we're waiting for the best practices video um, because we're noticing a lot of placement um, of the logo in all different places. So I think we want to roll that out as a new campaign. So we're just waiting on our production team to finish up our video and then we will roll that out as a new campaign um, just so that everybody's clear on the guidelines and the expectations for how to place the logo. Um, OK, so I'm noticing now there's a lot of questions coming in through the chat. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually open it up to let's raise hands because I don't think I can scroll through all of these and and answer everything. So if anybody has a question, because some of the questions may have already been answered, if anybody has a question that hasn't been answered, if you can use the raise hand feature and then we will go ahead and take some questions. Judy, get that working. Thank you, Judy. Judy, you remember or mine? OK, Emily, it looks like you have your hand raised. Emily. Emily, you're on mute. Did you guys have questions? Um, should we go to the next one, Nora? Yeah, sure. I think maybe she's on mute. Um, let's see. Uh, Tiffany. Tiffany Shiat. Yes. Um, are they going to somehow make it available to link the product and storefront directly to a post on Instagram or Facebook? So that's a great question. Um, that actually is that's outside of our capability. Um, the rule of making the Instagram post separate is actually um, Instagram. So there is not plans that I know of um, to synchronize the two together, but that would come from Instagram, not from TV page or Macy's. 
Okay. But if you do have, I believe, over 10,000 followers on Instagram, you could do a swipe up feature that goes directly to the link or your storefront page. You guys have questions. You yeah, and somebody did um, call out, which is true. If you have Facebook followers and you have a Facebook account, it is synchronized on Facebook. So it's just a click of a button and it shows up on your Facebook account. All right, it looks like we have a couple of other hands raised. Um, for some reason, I can't see <laughs> who has their who has their hand up. Um, it looks like Anna. Anna Hi. Hi, Anna. So I know with um, with TikTok and Instagram, we can't upload through the portal any content with music. But I was wondering if it would be possible for us to like make content with music or whatever and direct upload to TikTok and then tease our link and have a post that that has no music um you know could be like a picture or something on our storefront that have the same products would we be able to like get around it that way if we don't like post that TikTok with the sound directly through the storefront app but still tease our link and link the same exact products yeah, so if I'm understanding you correctly, um, you want to upload that TikTok or reel that you did on that platform to the portal without sound. And yeah, that's uh, fine. A lot of ambassadors do that. They just mute the sound and have the same video um, posted. And then you could post the link in your bio with the same thing, but with no sound. OK, thank you. You're welcome. OK, it looks like we got another hand. Mindy, Mindy Sulkin. Hi there. Um, my question is, hi, how are you? My question is, and I did send this to you a couple weeks ago, but I, I know there's, you know, there's only so much you can put into this presentation, but one of the main questions that I hear from my little stylist crew where I am is that, um, I'm sorry, style crew is not part of the $450,000 minimum goal for stylists. And as I'm sure everyone knows, it's it's a lot of work to do social media and style crew. And if it's not, we understand that there's a commission to be made here, but it's not going into our 450. Is that ever going to change? Um, it's something that has been discussed before, but it's a systematic change that has to happen. Um, and it would it would have to be something that um, that would have to be chatted about amongst this, the store operations team in order to be able to fit that in. Um, that was part of the reason why we changed from a com from a commission payout because we felt like it was competing um, a little bit with the stylist program. Um, so that's why our incentive is not commission based. It's based on impressions. So we're not necessarily eating away from the goal of of you know sales. Um, our incentive has now switched to viewership. So you could still be making money and driving sales with the program, but then also still earning through Style Crew without it really competing. And I also want to reiterate that Style Crew is voluntary. It's just like kind of like an extracurricular. It's not like a My Stylist position. It's not a virtual seller position. It's like a just a fun program that Macy's Style Crew has. Also, it's your decision if you want to do it daily weekly monthly like we don't push as Nora mentioned like you have to do five posts a week it's more at your leisure um, you have to do it on the clock because this is a um, voluntary program so um, just no added stress <laughs> <laughs> okay next question um, Ivan hey ladies so I just have a question about uh, our beauty advisor so um, when we're trying to get them signed up to Style Crew, uh, because most of them are already posting on their Instagram account for their for their counters and for their products, um, they're always you know hesitate about the fact that the store doesn't get credit for the sale. Is there something in the future for that uh, with Style Crew where the store will get the credit for the sales that they generate? Yeah, that's actually a really good question, and it's something that's been um, really talked about post. Well, not post COVID because we're not really out of it yet, but um, it's it's really been something that um, I think in the past, like the store community has been like a little reluctant because 
style crew wasn't a part of getting the credit for the sales. Um, but I know under Mark Masternardi's leadership um, that he's really strongly encouraging that it's a sale for Macy's. Um, and that's really the direction that the company is going to be leaning into more. Um, the other thing, too, is from from a reporting standpoint, because our technology is built sort of outside of the company, um, we really haven't had a good way of being able to synchronize our stats into um, into like the reporting system that stores and everybody are used to seeing. Um, we're looking at tech advancements, not anything that would be able to happen for this year, but um, it's definitely a goal. The company is really behind the Style Crew program. Hopefully within the store community, you guys are seeing like a really big shift towards wanting to get more ambassadors, more people creating content on behalf of the brand. Um, so we're not there yet, but we are synchronizing towards like let's support Macy's as a brand and wherever the sales coming in is where it's coming in. Um, and hopefully within the next year or so, we'll be able to like give credit to the store communities where these ambassadors um, are pulling in. But it's definitely something that's being talked about. And like I said, really being led through Mark, Mark Masternardi. Um, just a fun fact in case you guys don't know, but Mark Masternardi was actually the brainchild behind Macy's Style Crew. So he's very, very, very supportive of the program. Um, because he built it. So <laughs> really, really cool. Awesome. Thank you. And um, another question real quick. So, you know, being the champion in my di division, uh, I'm really trying to get the recruitment going with here. But is there a way when, uh, Adrian, when you send the, the uh, ambassador account report, and I love how you put the, the earnings amount on it, but is there a way to, to get it by division? Possibly, so we can share, you know, what, what, what the 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 you know, just to share, you know, the amount of money some stylists are making, or not stylists, but style crew members. That way, they can be more, uh, you know, for it instead of against it. Adrian, I'm gonna chime in really quick. So, um, Adrian uh, and I are working really, really hard on trying to work within. Um, some of the reporting that Macy's has. So um, it's definitely our hope <laughs> that we'll be able to give more and more information out. So Adrian is quietly learning <laughs> how to build out reports, um, but we're still very limited on the level of information that we have. So we're gonna start out slow and we're gonna give you as much <laughs> information that we can possibly dig out um, with the hopes that you know, month over month, it's gonna get better. Um, but right now, what was presented in this last round is probably what you're gonna see for the next few few months um, until we can really dive into the to the back end. And we'll take that conversation, Ivan, off offline because it's really more for champions. Um, but you know, be expecting more and more. Um, but it's gonna be a slow go just based on our capabilities and what we have access to. Awesome, thank you. And then um, the ambassadors are loving the swag, so thank you for that. Oh, awesome, yay. Awesome. All right, we got a couple more questions, hands still raised, so we're gonna try to answer these quickly before we end up having to part ways. So um, Cheryl and Baker, you are up next. Hi, just a quick question. Would there be a reason or a, a solve on, I have clients who are ordering merchandise from my style crew link, but it's not coming into my style as sales. They've sent me their order number, so I know that they've been ordered through my link, but the sales aren't matching. Is there a way to either fix and or update that? So we may have to take a look. So that would be a perfect example of um, if you have like, an order confirmation number and you know that somebody bought off your link it's not showing up there could be a few different reasons why that doesn't happen um it doesn't post in real time so our technology can take up to 10 days to to reflect uh performance um on on a given link um there's also uh certain people have um software installed that blocks like cookies um which means that even if they if they've you know completed a, a sale through a through a link if they have any sort of ad blocking software up on their up on their you know their laptop or their mobile device um sometimes those sales don't get reflected so the best way to handle a situation like that is if it's been a few days and you're not seeing any activity would be to send an email to macy's style crew at macy's.com 
um, we would open up an investigation with the tech team to look into your account and scroll through sales um, and that order number to see if that is reflected in your sales. But we do take those really seriously. We try to get to the bottom of them. Um, but um, yeah, I would say give it a few days. If somebody just bought off of it yesterday, it is possible that it didn't register into the Style Crew system yet. All right, a few more. It looks like Andrea Warner. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Okay, one or uh, two questions. Number one, when um, we post and we say, okay, go to my link, go check, go in my bio, click on my link in my bio and shop right away. Automatically, it, when that person click on the link in your bio, it goes up to the portal for them to shop as well. Do you get credit for that? Um, for those sales, because you were saying they have to log on to the style um, style crew portal in order for you to get uh, both credits. So you would you would have they would have to so like let's say that they found a video and they watched it on like Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, they would have to click into your link in bio unless you have over ten thousand followers, like Adrian was saying, and they do the the, the swipe up feature. Mm -hmm. um, they have to get into your style crew portal portal page. Um, Adrian, if you have a second, if you can pull up either yours or my just the the the, the style crew page. So essentially, they're going to have to click on a piece of content twi twice, right? So they're going to look at it on Instagram, then right. they're going to have to click on it again on your style crew page in order for it to register as a sale. So this is Adrian. Yeah, if we go into Adrian's page, this is that photo that she just posted. But if she open up visit my storefront link, Adrian. So if I was looking at Adrienne's photo with the Dior Sauvage on her Instagram page and I clicked on her link in her bio, it would take me to her page here. So then right. I'd have to click on the same picture again. So now click on your O Sauvage. Okay. And then I'd have to like engage with this picture. So again, like I love that. And now I'm going to add that into buy it. And then they would go through this sort of a process. That's how we're able to track. So if they okay. don't follow that sort of a flow, then okay. it, then we're not going to get credit for it. OK. All right. Um, the next question, when you're posting to Instagram, you're, you said there was a paid partnership. Uh, where do you find that paid partnership uh, click or link? It pops up automatically if you do the hashtags add. It will go into your oh. home page and then you'll see like a notification to add the paid partnership with Dior, with um, Clinique and things like that. Okay, gotcha. Understand. So you have to do hashtag add. Yes. Okay, perfect. Gotcha. Understand. I know it's 301. So if you any of you guys have to go, um, definitely let us know and just sign off. This is being recorded, but I know we have a couple more people with their hands raised. So thank um, you. You're welcome. Yeah. I think we can take two two more questions yeah. um, and then we will let you go. But if you have to pop off, please, um, we don't want to keep you from from any of your other meetings. Um, OK, so we've got Florencia. Hello, hello there. Hi. Hi. So my question is, um, it is possible for us to create content um, by adding photos with our kids or family? Yeah, that's a great that's a great question. Um, you can definitely take photos with your children, um, with your kids, with your family members, friends. Um, we just ask that you fill out a, a program disclosure waiver. waiver. Um, so if you go back to the ambassador guidelines, I believe it's on page 12. Um, you just have to sign that. Make sure that those I mean, if it's kids, obviously they aren't going to sign for it. So if it's <laughs> if it's your child, you just have to sign that it's OK that they're being used for, you know, Macy's content. If it's a friend or a family member, you just want to make sure that they're that they're aware and that they are signing off their their waiver that they're OK to have their content posted. The other thing to note, because we've seen this every once in a while, is like, let's say that you take a picture in store and there's 
a customer in the background, like maybe they popped in at the last second and you just took a great picture. Unfortunately, um, you'll have to retake the picture again. You can't have people in your content um, that even if they're just customers, um, as you can see their their face, um, uh, we, we can't have that because they didn't necessarily give the disclosure that they want to be in a style crew or a Macy's post. Correct. Well, thank you. Yep. Sure. Um, Carla. Looks like Hi. Carla. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Hi. So um, my question is, is when they click on the link in your bio and they choose a product, just like you guys are showing, if they decide that they want to keep shopping, whether it be more items that you're choosing or that you put on your post or other items within the website, would we still get credit for that? or do they have to buy each item individually? No, so you still get credit. So let's say my Dior Sauvage post, you went into it uh, as a client of mine, you clicked into Sauvage, you, and then you clicked buy now, but you're like, actually, I need a Dyson, I need some socks, I need a robe. You get credit for all of those sales. You may not even buy the Sauvage, but let's say you, because you brought, I brought you into my link and you're now perusing Macy's.com, you get credit for the entire sales. And I just want uh, to notate that just because you posted a cologne and it doesn't mean that they necessarily have to buy a cologne for you to get the credit. You can post on, I think Nora, Nora had like posted on like uh, cologne and she would get like a, like socks and men, men's yeah. cologne. <laughs> yeah, and I would. So like you don't necessarily, whatever you post, it don't necessarily have to, your, your uh, followers don't have to buy that. Yeah, and, and I definitely remember um, a couple calls back, like there were people who were concerned about it and it's nothing to be concerned about. Like I never post, you know, really anything men's, um, but I, for some reason, just make a lot of men's sales. So maybe people are shopping for their husband or a brother or a dad, um, and that's totally fine. You know, like you might've engaged with a content. I might've done like a perfume post and they loved it. They, they were like, oh, I really like her style. Let, like, let me click in. And they're like, oh, you know, I shouldn't splurge on a perfume. Instead, I should buy my kid socks. Um, so that's the great thing about it. The other thing to note is um, if you have the storefront app or if you're on the web portal, look into your analytics. Um, it'll show you what products people are buying. So I don't know. In my case, I was like, well, maybe I should be creating some men's content because clearly everybody's buying men's stuff. Um, so that's always like a good way to, you know, kind of see what things could could be working and maybe what you want to lean into more. Maybe you're getting a lot of beauty sales and you've never really explored creating beauty content, but maybe, maybe you should, because people are like loving it. Um, okay. So with that being said, again, I want to be mindful. We're six minutes past. Um, any last minute questions that we can answer before we head off today? All right, you guys, thank you so much. It's so great to see you guys. Welcome to Macy's Style Crew. I know a lot of you guys are new. We can't wait to see all of the amazing content. Um, and be on the lookout in the Friday news newsletters for all the fun opportunities. Um, we're going to be doing more virtual calls like this where you can learn something once a month. So be on the lookout and we will be in touch. Thank you Good guys. Good to see you guys. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you. Great call. Thank you.